Hello folks, Impression is back and today we're going to be watching Elestra vs Majesty. The Majesty is pretty high ranked, he, she's in the, you know, the blue ranks. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and follow the Majesty and see how this match turns out. I haven't gotten any uh, good Majesty gameplay yet, I don't believe, for level 60. I've watched a few already though. And let's see how this match goes. Usually the best matches are when each player is evenly matched, even though, even if both sides might be bad. And that's because it just adds some entertainment value. You don't want to see a one-sided match after all. These are looking pretty good. They're both level 60, I think you guys noticed that. And from what I know, Force users, uh, Majesty, etc., they got nerfed in the upcoming PvP arena. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I think uh, the Lester has the advantages in here. Primarily because, primarily because. Ice Spikes, EX, and you have your... Uh, what was the other EX? I forget. But, all that does is increase their PvP potential. The EXs that, uh, the Lester has. And I know this because I'm an Elestra user too. Even though I don't have a level 60 Elestra. And, yeah. Right now, from what I can see, the Majesty is clearly the superior opponent. She's using a lot more combos compared to uh, the Lestra. But the Lestra is not really getting the damage. I think I understand what they meant by the damage nerf here because the Majesty is pretty much throwing whatever she's got at this Lestra. And the Lestra is only hitting her a couple of times, and yet the Majesty has 17% damage, as you can tell. If the Majesty had the same amount of damage as the Lester did, this match might have this would have been over by now. And yeah, the Majesty gets the first round. The Majesty is clearly the superior uh, opponent here, from what I can tell. And but I think the Lester has quite a good chance at winning because of how high DPS she has comparatively. And yeah, it was pretty surprising though. The Majesty like did several combos in a row, and that still took quite a bit of time, nearly three minutes of uh, combo in order to get the Lester down to zero. And the Lester is not known for having a lot of health, by the way. I mean, they're still a magic class, so I can't even imagine how Majesty goes up against the other class like warrior and all that and oh nice they, she got uh, she pulled up a freeze and she just continuous combo ah, what I've noticed is that she uses four inch combos when it go when it comes to uh, the Lestra ah, I think that makes sense because if she did use close range crab the Lestra will probably kick her ass because the Lestra has way more you know, combat potential when it comes to close range. Though the Lester's not really using her close range as much as I would like her to. There's quite a bit of chances she had in the approaching. But the Lester also wants to kind of keep her uh, you know, distance. The Lester has much damage these skills cut. Oh, she tried, she tried pulling off uh, ice. Uh, explosion or whatever it's called, but that was such bad timing. Uh, only someone that has little experience in PvP would do it right, like right next to the opponent while the opponent is not frozen or whatever. Maybe it was just a mistake, but still. Okay, so uh, it doesn't look like the Majesty actually got the level 55 EX. I think level 55 EX for Majesties increased the size of their uh, orb. Or maybe I'm just mistaken. And uh, that's how it's supposed to look. And yikes. Did you see how much damage that type of stuff did? Freezing field and all that. Ice spikes. 
it's a critical amount of damage, and if you can't avoid that, you're pretty screwed when you're come when you're uh, facing off against an Illustra. I don't actually fight like this Illustra. My kind of approach is more of a slow approach because if you if you go ahead and uh, kind of like that actually, I usually just go straight up against them no matter the odds and then freeze them until they can't move and then continue my combos like that. Because honestly speaking, the freezing potential Illustras have is amazing. A lot of people don't use that when they're peeping. And okay, nice. I'm hoping they'll match it with. I don't remember exactly what happened with the match. But she's fucking good, yo. It's 1-1. One, one, and Oh! The Lester I mean the Majesty managed to pull off. A pretty freaking nice field. AoE, uh, crap. But she wasn't able to follow through. Oh, crap. Ah, frozen just in time. Oh, she missed that. Huh. It's not good. If she didn't miss that, I think it was because she was in a rush. The time freeze doesn't really last that long, but if she didn't miss that, uh, once the Lester came out of the freeze, uh, she would have been stuck in poison, and the magic could have continued her combos. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think the magic is really focusing on doing combos right now. She's just trying to get the Lester on a trap. And then once she does, she's gonna go ahead and pull off her combos. The only way she's doing that is she's trying to. Uh, hit her with some AOE effects far away. Because getting close to an Illustra is not really a good idea, I think. The Vanishy realized that. But look at this. The Illustra got hit by nearly all of her skills, and yet the Majesty has 10% health, even though she barely got hit. As you can see, this should be Cray, yo. Oh, shit. Yeah. This is pretty fucking one-sided in my opinion. Yeah, I do support Elastro, but damn. Okay. Let's see if the Magic can freaking, I don't know, get back on her feet after this crap. Because she needs to pull off at least 300 times more effort than the Lustra does in order to win. I think this is why uh, Magic G's are not a uh, PvP class anymore at least. And that's just from my uh, personal experience. Uh, of course people can easily <laughs> PvP with Magic but I wouldn't uh, I would say that they have a pretty high disadvantage. Uh, why did she do that when you know, Ice Explosion only works when you're when you have a freezing status effect. Why did she like you know, throw one off even though nothing she didn't do anything yet? I don't know, it seems like this Lustra is pretty damn a new bitch. Like, uh just misplaced timing, just doing all that crap. And the only way she's really winning is through Basically, <laughs> off chance attacks. Uh, let's, uh, let's just count. Let's just perform. Let's just count how many skills it takes to kill the Majesty, or at least to give her as much damage as she has. And it doesn't look like she's even getting the chance to do that. Okay, so oh, she so dodged the freezing sword. That's a good idea. And the poison was pretty bad, unless you just wanted to use that to buff her. Oh, freezing field did nearly 30% damage. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what skill I didn't even pay attention, but the other skill he did did another 10%. Uh, okay. I wonder how many skills she's doing comparatively. Holy, holy. Okay, this is good, this is good. They're evenly matched now. In score, at least. Hmm. Let's see. 
what will be next? I'm just want, I'm just very curious. I wonder how many. I hope the Lustra wins this test so I can see how many skills she pulled off to win. If you know what I mean. What the hell's going on? Standing by. Maybe getting their uh, CDs down. Or maybe the Majesty just pissed off. I don't know. I kind of would be. I mean, the balance isn't that fucking great here. Okay, teleport in. Freezing Sword did 8%. So it doesn't do that much, actually. Okay, so... I'm so, I'm like... The match she can really pull off combos, at least. It shows she has the experience. And the uh, Lester's pretty much not get, getting in any... Oh shit, okay, so... So far, at least... She did two skills, no, three skills, and now the Majesty is 80%. Okay, so let's continue. I wonder what exactly... Well, Fireball would easily be the most DPS skill in this game. But I'm wondering... How much DPS the other crap gives Majesty? Oh, okay, so that gave her a 15%. I think it got, I think it hit in the right place. Okay, continue. Let's see, Elastro. Oh, so that, that Frozen thing actually gives her 5%. So now the Majesty has 40% damage. It doesn't look like this lesson for the win. Oh uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so what was that? Like five skills? Interesting. Okay. Now let's hope the Lester wins this time around. Though, if the Majesty wins, I wouldn't be upset. It doesn't seem like the Majesty is bad at PvPing at all. But damn, Elastras have a huge advantage in T4 level 60 PvP from the looks of it. Like I can already imagine the scenarios that I can you you can easily come up with as an Elastra when your PvP and gets warriors and all that other crap. I don't know what they're talking about, but girls, you gotta move, yo. You gotta dance. You gotta dance like a. Come on, I am bored watching you sit around. You know, what the fuck? Yo, you know, I maybe it's just me as a spectator and I can't understand what the fuck they're saying, but I hate watching them just not, you know, do anything. I, I, the problem with that is when that does happen, I'm not 100% sure if they're just gonna continue fighting or if they're just gonna stop. Because I've noticed that sometimes they just stop in the middle of the fucking game. And they're like, oh, let's just give up right now. Oh, it was a good game. I'm like, what the fuck? Don't do that. Uh, what is the Madison doing? All those skills missed. I mean, she was way out of range. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. The Banshee has 25% damage already. What the fuck? Okay, yes. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that's also an EX skill. I'm surprised though. Yikes. Freezing Field is fucking huge damage. Like, holy crap. Ah, see, now she pulled off the ice explosion correctly this time around. Because the other times around. She, you know, she failed everything while other ice explosion or anything. That was the only actual legit time she made it. I mean, why would you throw off an ice explosion when they're not, they, when they don't have the fucking ice effect on them? It's like a waste of a skill, it doesn't do anything. Holy shit! Did you see the fucking range on ice field? Like, what? Like the, like you can see the ice field a couple of feet away from the Majesty and still it gave her the damage. 
That hidden uh, fucking hitbox, man. Holy crap, it's huge. And yikes, the man she has 5% health and now she has 4%. This is, this is ridiculous. Ah, it turned out of the tie. Oh, that makes sense because they were fucking, you know, sitting around and talking to each other in the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Let's see how this shit goes, yo. I hope the match wins. Cause... What is this D? Do you want the D? <laughs> Majesty. Damn you and your Chinese. You know, I can understand sh kanji, but I can't fucking put that crap together in China. A uh, Chinese. So, it's impossible, yo. There's too many. <laughs> God damn it. Why do they... You know, I usually save the talk when I'm peeping for after the fucking match, or if we're on Skype, just talk while I'm peeping. I don't talk during the match. That should be cray, yo. Waste time. I mean, there's a timer. The lower the timer, the less of a chance you're gonna be able to finish the game. And what the hell is going on? Did they, did they give up? Did they fucking give up? Ah, oh, fuck, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why would you do this to me? 5%. 5% ha. health, wow. Oh, shit. Well, that demonstrated how fucking powerful LSRs are in PvP at least. It's one good thing. Are they all gonna stand around in the entire time? I think they are. So I think what we're gonna do is gonna call this match quits. Alright. I think quitting would be a good time. Let's just let's just watch for a second here. Maybe they'll do something amazing and maybe I won't be as disappointed as I am right now. Uh, maybe? Hello? Oh, you have a nice costume there, Lestra. A nice costume indeed. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quit the uh, match. It was a good match the first couple rounds. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to subscribe. I'll be uploading every single day, most likely during the summer, uh, to make up for the time that I have been uploading the past couple of months. And yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good game. The match team knows what she's doing. I don't know why they agreed to, uh, you know, kill each other in this game, but the match team knows what she's doing. The Lestra is very powerful in PvP. If this Lestra was a tiny bit better in skills, she would have easily conquered and beat up the match team easily. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.